Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Do you ever feel like camera bags have become kind of boring? Like there hasn't been, there hasn't been like a new concept in camera bags for a while. That's how I've been feeling. But, but a company reached out a few months back. They sent me one of their bags and said, it's, it's different. It's a different way to get to your gear. It solves a problem that photographers and videographers have had for years. And I guess I always just accepted it as a problem and didn't realize there was a solution. This is the 30 liter Kaboko bag from Guru Gear. And it was designed by two photographers on safari in Africa. All the problems, all the challenges that they faced, they, they channeled into this bag. And it's actually been pretty sweet. Now, as a disclaimer to this bag, it is uh, it is not like the most fashionable bag in the world. It's not, you know, go to the coffee shop and, and look cool camera bag. It's, it's a camera bag. And it's much more made for photographers that are going on adventures, trying to get a lot of gear into remote locations in a way that keeps their gear protected, but also Again, it helps them access it in a new, clever way. Again, new to me. I know this bag has been out for a while. It just didn't have the laptop sleeve, but now it does have the laptop sleeve. And now I, now I know about it. Okay, we'll go through the outside of the bag first, and then we will dive inside and, and see how, why the access does solve this big problem. The outside is X-Pac V21 material, which I love this stuff. It's inspired by sailcloth material, but it is super durable, weather resistant, not weather proof, but it is incredibly lightweight. This entire bag, this 30 liter bag that can just hold a ton of gear, four pounds. And it just looks cool. I like, I like the X pattern on there. Uh, let's flip around to the harness system because with a bag that is 30 liters that you can put this much gear into, it it does get heavy. And this, this harness system kind of solves that super padded straps and they're really wide. Now, the nice thing about wide straps is that when you have it on, it's taking the weight and it's distributed over a, a wider part of your shoulder. So thinner straps kind of, you know, they hurt your shoulders, wider straps, they don't hurt your shoulders as much. And that, that is really good. My only issue with the width of these straps is that you can't fit one of like the Peak Design or the Ulanzi F38, one of the, the capture clips, the camera strap clips on there. So I haven't been using one on this backpack. The, the padding on this back, can you see how thick this padding is? Which is nice because it creates like an air channel in there, but when you have this thing on your back, like you can tell this is a comfortable harness system to wear. The nice thing though too is that this harness system can be completely tucked away. So if you have maybe a bigger backpack on your back and you want to carry this thing on your side through an airport and you don't want the, the straps flapping around when you're doing that, this whole thing can tuck away behind this little flappy bit back here. And now the harness system is completely tucked away, which again, just it's one of those problems that you face when you're traveling that's that's annoying. And I like I like that these guys thought of that. When you see features like that, you know, you know that this was designed by someone who's actually using the bag and actually traveling with the bag and not just sitting in a studio somewhere. Get these popped back out. There's a really nice touch on here. All all like the extra flappy bits, like the extra piece of the strap and you tighten it down, they all have Velcro on them. So no matter where up top here, down on the bottom here, the side straps, they all have kind of that Velcro bit that you can tuck that away so you don't have extra bits of the strap just flopping around. We got a pocket on this side, which is perfect for tripods because it's nice and sleek, it's nice and tight to the bag. And then again, like I said, we have a strap up top. So we put a tripod in there and then strap that bad boy down. Flip it around to the other side, we kind of have a, a larger stretchier pocket, which is good for water bottles, and then a super beefy handle that is also on top. Can you see how super beefy this handle is? It's like giant roll, but it's also riveted onto the bag. Kind of everything on this bag feels very overbuilt, very just like incredibly durable. And then what makes this bag the new version, why, why they've had this bag out for a while, but this is the new version is right here and it is a rear laptop sleeve. And this thing, this thing I think could fit any size laptop. I've got the 16 inch MacBook Pro and when you put it in here, there it is in there, can you see? Look how much extra space is up here. Like I can fit my whole hand above my laptop. So yes, it can hold a 16 inch MacBook Pro, but it, it for sure could hold even a larger laptop than, than this guy. Then around to the front, the, 
The whole front panel is pockets. It's these two giant pockets. Oh, let's talk real quick about these zippers. These zippers are not waterproof zippers. So that's why I said earlier, this is water resistant material and these are water resistant zippers, but not waterproof zippers. The reasoning that the designers have behind this is one, uh, waterproof zippers are hard to open and close. These are very smooth, very easy. They have really good pull tabs on them, but waterproof zippers are harder. So you gotta kind of like, eh, especially to turn corners. Waterproof zippers are usually like, yeah. And they don't last very long. After a couple of years, two, three years, the waterproof zipper starts to break down. It makes it harder for the zipper pull to operate, but also as it breaks down, it means it's no longer waterproof anymore. So now it's just hard to operate and it's not waterproof. So for this bag, instead of doing waterproof zippers, they made the whole thing water resistant. So, you know, if it's drizzling, things like that, you're fine. But then in this small pocket right here, you reach in, you got a full duck cover. If it is raining enough outside to where you are worried about waterproof zippers you you should have a duck cover on at that point if it's raining that much just put a duck cover on go over the entire bag and boom now your bag is totally waterproof you can still rock the straps you can still have this on your back because this this kind of comes around like this all you're going to end up with is the harness getting a little bit wet because it's on you uh, exposed to the rain but the the rest of your gear is completely waterproof in whatever storm you decide to take your gear through. And these are two of my favorite pockets on the bag. The whole front panel of the bag is pockets. So this opens up. I've got two zippered pockets here, a bunch of organization. I've got a hook for my keys here. And these pockets, if you can see, it's like two inches ish deep. So it's not just like a flat pocket to put paper. You can really, you can actually fit a lot in these front pockets and I've got them on both sides. So I've got two zippers here, some more organizational stuff here, then just a large area to kind of stuff stuff in there and zip it closed. I really appreciate that they used the entire front panel to add just a ton of small stuff storage space. Now into, now into why this bag is so clever and how to access your gear, which solves a problem that I didn't even realize I had, or again, I knew I had this problem. I just didn't think there was a solution to it. Before we get to that, let me tell you guys about the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. You guys already know that Squarespace is your all-in-one website building platform to help you make a great first impression on the web. I've been using Squarespace for my website for almost 10 years now, and the best part about using their drag and drop system to build my website is that because I built it, I can update it. I don't have to call a web designer or email a web designer, wait for them to make changes. I can just go in there and change things myself. And if you're intimidated by the idea of making your own website on Squarespace, I promise you anyone can build a website on Squarespace. Just go in there, start with their professionally designed templates and change out the info. Take the templates info, swap in your info. Take the templates photos, swap in your photos and right away you've got a website. I promise you anybody can build a website on Squarespace. When you are ready to take that side project or your business to the next level, shoot to the first thing in the description, go to squarespace.com, sign up for a free trial, download one of their templates and start playing around. When you are ready to go live, use code David Manning for 10% off at checkout. Okay, back to the Kaboko bag and and how we access this camera bag and what what the problem was in the first. The, the main problem, the main problem with camera bags, whether whether they open from the front or the back is that when they do open, they double their footprint, essentially. He is he is this big now, but then when I open them, I'm now taking up double the footprint of space, which might be fine right here, but if you were on an airplane or train or you're on a butt or you're in a land cruiser on safari in Africa, this is not ideal. Even on airplanes before, like I have to get my bag out and I'm usually I'm usually kind of doing one of these things, like you know, like you're doing this and you know, you got a lot of that going on. This does it a little differently. This guy uses a butterfly opening. So we have the front pocket here and then a second zip here and look how this thing opens. Half of it opens at a time, which means that the bag never doubles its footprint. Another little clever bit that they added on there was they made this, this whole seam right here blue. And the idea there is that if it's sitting there and you can see any blue, don't pick up your backpack because the zipper's open. If the zipper is properly closed, you see no blue. And one more little note on this butterfly opening is they made a strap so that you can strap the two sides together so that if you were in 
you know, you're in a spot where you're gonna just access your gear, you're not really moving around a lot, you can actually strap these two sides together like this. And now, now it's really easy to kind of just flip back and forth, grab stuff from this side, grab stuff from this side. It kind of, kind of opens up the whole, the whole bag as a whole. So you can see all your gear at once. Into the, the actual interior of the bag, there's a couple of things of note. One, it is five and a half inches deep by 20 inches tall, but the five and a half inches deep is, it's five and a half inches deep up here and all the way down here. So through the entire bag, because they went for more of like a boxy style, it doesn't taper where a lot of, about, even the low pro, like it kind of tapers at the top. So near the top, I, I don't have full depth. On this guy, you got full depth all the way through the bag. And you can fit a ton in a 30 liter bag. One of the nice things about this also is really good dividers, like very sturdy dividers but they give you, they give you a ton of dividers. Look how many dividers I already have in here. And then over here, we got some dividers in there already included all those dividers. Plus I have all these dividers still, and I have three more of the larger divider. Like they, they give you so many dividers that however you want to rig out this bag, whatever gear you're carrying, you'll, you'll be able to fit it in this bag. Lots of pockets, like pockets everywhere. I feel like I don't even need to have a little tech pouch, although I do. I've been using their their etc. bags. They they make these guys. So this is my new tech pouch, kind of more of a, a structured, rigid style pouch with a clear front. They've got their small version of their etc. bags and their extra small version of their etc. bags. Let's load this thing up though. Let's load it. I'm gonna load it with everything that I that I normally carry around, and then you'll see. There's still quite a bit of extra space after, after 30 liters is a lot. Let's load her up. All right, all loaded up on, on this side over here. I have a massive area for my microphone and my camera. And on the low pro bag, they're, they're kind of jammed in there. In here, in here, there's like plenty of space. Up top here, I've got a 24 to 70, despite what this lens cap says. I've got the Rode Video Micro Go as a backup microphone. I've got the DJI wireless mic system. Got a Insta360 X3, a lav mic, another lav mic, and then a, an empty spot up top because I just don't have enough stuff to fill this bag. And then on this side over here, I have a large drone. The Mavic 3 Classic is right here with the smart controller with screen up top there. I have one of their, their et cetera tech bags right here. But again, I probably don't even need that. If I took everything out of there and I put it into these pockets, I don't think I would need this bag in there at all. In here, I have one of their etc. extra small bags just for camera batteries, GoPro batteries, and then I have a completely empty slot over here. And this is how, this is how I've been carrying this bag around. Like I've had a lot of extra space in the bag, which has been, which has been kind of nice. Like it's nice not to have all your equipment just jammed into a bag and, and have some extra space to, when I grab something else or, or have extra filters with me or extra batteries, I have room to put them. What do, uh, what do you guys think of the Kaboko 30 liter bag from Guru Gear? Did I mention that there is a, there's a lumbar piece for this? I, I took it off when I first got the bag like two months ago and I started testing it. I was like, I don't need the waist strap because I don't know, I just, I'm doing more daily things with it and I lost it. I don't know where I put it. I put it somewhere. Let me know what you guys think about the Kaboko 30 liter from Guru Gear. I, I'm a fan, man. As like an adventure bag, like I'm going out into the remote situations, I'm for sure grabbing this bag. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you soon. Right in the middle. Good job. Oh, perfect. Right there, that's good. Great job, bud. Oh, thanks for putting it in the middle. Oh, that's perfect, right there. Now pop it down. Wait, I think you gotta back up a little bit. More back towards the wall. Yeah, right there, that's good. Good job, bro. <laughs> well, that was the cutest little face.